Hey, it's Cat Yaks, and I'm doing a little bit of public land small game hunting. I have a 20 gauge 870 Express, and um, this is a few days after that miss on that red squirrel. I came back yesterday and got a woodcock with my friend I didn't have the camera with, but today I just took a, a gray squirrel. I won't show you the head because uh, it's not on there anymore. I'm just taking a quick break to have some lunch. I got a little sterno can going in there. It's filled with Crisco. I'm just trying to boil some water for one of those mountain house meals. I don't know how well this is going to work, so I have a different burner with that I'm going to switch to if I don't think it's going to heat it up. These ones I use more for just making stew and letting things cook all day well. I switched up my cooking method a little bit. I propped up these little boards I found in through the buddy burner under there just so it can be closer to the flame and cook a little faster. Now the buddy burner is really really burning which is what I was waiting for. And my spaghetti is done. You can see it's going to a, a rolling boil. Which is what I was waiting for. So I'm going to take it off. And then you can see all that oil in there is boiling still. So I'm just going to leave that while I eat and then maybe while I hunt for another hour. And I'll pick it up when it turns back into solid crisp. I'm gonna try to show you how to quarter a squirrel. I don't know how good this is gonna be because I kind of blew it up when I shot it. Um, those I just boil up, all those scraps and give them to my dog. You can eat the liver, the kidneys, and the heart, but I just prefer not to. So I'm going to take the front shoulder off. I have the little clavicle bone in there still, which I'm just going to break through. And pick out any shot as you're going that you find. I used number seven and a half shot in my 20 gauge. So it's really tiny. There's one of the BBs. And for the back legs. around the pelvis. This is a lot easier when they are bigger and you actually get more meat off of them. Then you can kind of separate the hip joint by twisting and then just cutting through it. It's another back leg.
taking its pelvis off and then I'll probably freeze the rest of this um, I have a couple more that are frozen for stew just wait until I get enough there's not a lot on this but if you simmer it down you can pull the meat off or you can make a stock out of it which is probably what I'll do I'm going to soak the legs in salt water brine for a few hours it helps get the squirrel to be a little more tender and once in a while you can find little glands in here that you want to cut out because it'll make your meat tastes kind of funky. So here's the squirrel after I kind of separated everything. I'm going to end up freezing this to go in a stew. I have a few more packages of squirrel saved up. And then this pile here is for my dog. It's some of the organs. And then this is what I'm going to fry up. I'm going to soak it in salt water for a few hours first. Here's a bit of a comparison for you guys. Right in here is the legs off of one squirrel, a male gray squirrel. What I got today was a juvenile female squirrel. So you can tell that these are like considerably bigger than what I got today. And this part right here is what this would be. I'll throw a picture up of the big squirrel I got. So here's my puppy's treats just boiling up really quick. Sit. Down. Wait. Okay. Good girl, Bailey. So it's a couple hours later. I took my squirrel, put it in a pressure cooker. I don't know if it works. I found it in a dumpster like two years ago, but it was in the box still. So I'm going to try it out. I put it on high pressure for 10 minutes. Then I'll come back to it. So I threw together in here some Shore Lunch classic fried chicken breading, a little bit of Old Bay, and some seasoning. And heating up here is. Just the bacon grease I had left over from breakfast this morning. Starting to sizzle so I can add the legs in now. This is my mini pan. It's only four and a half inches wide. really good but really hot <laughs> 